guys, so today I'm going to do um, a haul. I have a lot of stuff, so I'm going to try to go through it um, pretty quick. Um, but I've been to um, a couple different places lately. I've picked up some things from Target, um, the Dollar Tree, and then, of course, Goodwill and the Outlet, too. Um, so I'll start off with uh, the Dollar Tree and Target stuff. Um, first of all, at Target, they're starting to do um, some holiday things, and they also have, uh, like, a whole... Hello Kitty thing um, in their dollar bins too. Uh, so I picked up a couple things from there. Um, first off I got this ornament and I thought it was really cute. It's just Hello Kitty kind of skiing. I think she's ice skating, I'm sorry, and she's wearing mittens and then back just says Hello Kitty and that was a dollar. Um, I also got, I have this, I already put my um, pencils and stuff in it, but it's basically this little bucket and it's also kind of like a winter themed thing, um, but it was the perfect size for like all of my office supplies and stuff. Um, and then also my mom picked this up for me. This is a little magnetic notepad. I thought that was really cute and then it's perfect for like putting it on the fridge and stuff because it's magnetic. Um, then at the Dollar Tree I picked up this mirror. Um, this is it looks like it's silver or something, but it's plastic. Um, it's basically a little vanity mirror. I'm really detailed. I don't want to blind you, so I'll just show you the handle. So it, it looks nice, but it's actually plastic and it's really lightweight. Um, I got this because my um, I have like a real one of these, um, but it's really heavy, and I'm always scared that I'm going to drop it and break it because it's like really delicate and stuff. Um, so I got this to um, actually use so that way um, I won't have to be scared of dropping the other one that I have. Um, and if anyone's interested, this was in the kids section, um, kind of like where the girl, like little girl kind of princess dress up stuff is. Um, so it was over there. So um, if anyone wanted to check that out. Then um, I also just got some hair clips. I actually got a two pack, but I've already taken this one out. The Dollar Tree or nowhere has like cute hair clips, but I thought this one was pretty cute. It came in with two of these. They're like uh, little kind of leopard tortoiseshell ones, and it's big enough to put um, my whole hair in, so that's always good. Um, I think that's it for retail things. Um, so as far as secondhand things go, um, I'll start with the stuff I picked up at um, the regular Goodwill. I got this shirt, um, which I just wore in an outfit of the day. Um, this is by a brand called Mono, and it's a kind of animal, leopard, some zebra print um, shirt, and it's the high-low style, which I really like because then I can wear it with leggings and uh, just kind of stuff where you don't want your uh, beehive show. And this was uh, $3.50. And then, see, the other shirt that I got was $3.50 as well. Um, this is from H&M. It's a size 2, but it actually fits me, even though I'm not a size 2. Um, it's just an, kind of an extra long. Um, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's a really, like, hot pink and white. It's a little bit sheer um, with just little cap sleeves. So I really like that. Then... I picked up um, quite a few things at the outlet. Um, first of all, I got this purse. This is another kind of quilted Chanel inspired purse because I really like the other one that I have. Um, and it just has the woven gold chain and then, um, you know, the traditional is kind of turned. And then here's the inside. It's really clean and everything. Then I picked up this belt. Um, this is a waist belt. Um, it's leopard and then on the other side it's red too. It's actually reversible. This buckle you can um, just completely take it off and switch it around. It looks like a wishbone too. So I thought that was cute. Um, then as far as clothes go, um, I still need to wash this one, um, but it's a blazer from Forever 21 but I paid 85 cents for everything now on um, I paid 85 cents for um, so this is just black I don't know if it's you can see because of the way the settings are but um, it has the little the pockets are like ruffled in front and then it has like some cute little buttons 
And then it's a, I don't know if I said, but it's kind of like a velvety material, which explains why it has all the lint on it. Um, then I found this windbreaker, and this is um, Lacoste, actually, which is super cool. Um, there's the little, little alligator. Um, and it's just, I think this might be men's, but I don't care, I'm going to wear it anyway. Um, it's just a navy blue windbreaker, and it's a little big too, um, which is why I think it's men's, but even though it's a size medium, I think, yeah, it's a size medium. Um, but I could layer this with other stuff too, um, like other coats and things like that to make them waterproof, and so I thought I'd uh, get pretty good use out of that. Can't talk. Um, then I got these shorts. Um, these are from Sofi. Is that nice? It's soft. They make all those like cheerleading shorts. Um, I remember that for when I did cheerleading. Everyone has those cheerleading and like softball. They always sell them at like Sports Authority and stuff. Um, but they were just a, a super cute pattern. Just like a little rainbow, rainbow leopard. Um, so I thought these would be cute for like pajama shorts or around the house and stuff. Then I picked up this top. Um, this is by Express. And it's just a little one shoulder top. It's really stretchy. Um, and you can see there's like a lot of like sparkles and detail and stuff. And I already washed this and uh, none of the sequins or it also has sequins and little studs and stuff. None of it came off so. Woo, go express. Um, that always surprises me when nothing falls off when there's like sequins. Um, and then another thing by Express, I picked up this um, cardigan. It's just a kind of like a, I forget, kind of just cable knit. Is that what it's called? Um, and it's an open style, so there's no buttons or clasp or anything. And then I don't know if you can see, but in the um, fabric, there's like a sparkly gold thread in there. Um, so when you wear it, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but in the sun and stuff, it's kind of sparkly. Then, very exciting, um, I found a Trina Turk shirt, and I should have buttoned this. I'm sorry, it looks better buttoned. Um, but basically, it's like a, I need to wash this one too, it's like a linen um, button up. I really like the oversized collar that it has. I mean, I think the buttons are really cute. They're like little, or not little, pretty big um, oversized white buttons. Uh, the only thing is that this shirt actually comes with a belt. I looked it up online. It's like, it comes with like a little sash. Um, and it didn't come with that. Um, I think it just got separated. I think they actually might sell it separately at the outlet. They take it out and like sell it as a separate thing. So it's probably there and someone bought it or something. Um, but I could wear any belt with it, like the one I just got, or something more neutral, anything like that. And I also picked up um, this little, I think it's a plate rack. There it is. Um, see, put your plates like this, I think, um, at the outlet for $0.75. Cents. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint this gold um, with the same spray paint I used to redo the mirror that I got recently and then put um, either I have a couple of Z palettes so I'll put it like kind of display them like that um, or put I don't know purses something I'm going to do something with this oh I forgot something I got from the regular thrift store too um, I got did I, did I show you I don't remember if I showed if I already showed this I'm sorry but um, I picked up this Hello Kitty alarm clock this is originally from Target but it was at uh, Goodwill for I think seven dollars and this is a uh, kind of like the old school kind too and I've never had one so I thought that'd be cute and then okay last thing um, something I picked up from eBay actually um, it's this Hello Kitty iPhone case I thought that was super cute um, it's 3d it's like really kind of looks like a toy or something um, but uh, I got this from, I ordered this from a seller in China, so it took a few weeks to get here. Uh, but they do have them. I've seen sellers have them in the U.S., um, but they're like twice as expensive. Um, if you just Google like 3D 
Hello Kitty iPhone case or just if they have other ones too not just Hello Kitty they have like other characters and just like other designs that are like big like this um, just do like 3D iPhone case and they'll all pop up um, but yes yeah, so I thought that was really cute and it's good for if you drop your phone because it um, it's really padded and stuff like that and then it also came with a screen protector and these little stickers that you can put on I got the little bow for my home button but um, it actually came with like six stickers total so you could pick which one uh, so I thought that was really cute and not bad for like eight dollars including shipping um, so yeah I think that's everything that I picked up lately um, I'm actually gonna do a separate video because I just picked up um, or just got shipped to me a bunch of like vintage jewelry from the same seller that I like um, from eBay and I picked up some other vintage jewelry so I just want to do a whole separate video because that's going to be, I don't want this to be like a half hour. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.